Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. And in this video I want to talk to you about the bridging speed multiplier. So if you print things that uh, have an overlap, though you have to use a bridge, then uh, this setting can come handy, uh, well, basically to, to uh, make the quality of your bridge a little better. Now, what this setting does is it multiplies or uh, it, it decreases the speed in which you are printing when printing a bridge. So for example, if the nozzle has to flow in mid-air from this point to this point, then the speed between these two points can be set to a percentage of the normal speed. So for example, if I print at 40 millimeters a second, then the printing speed from here to here will be 40 millimeters a second in that bridge. So it's, it's uh, not being supported by any, film, uh, any filament that's underneath it. Now, I can also uh, increase or decrease the speed of that bridge. So when that bridge is printed from one point to another point, then I can set it to, for example, half speed or double speed. But what does this mean? Well, let's take a look at my slicer. So here we got uh, uh, in the slicer a setup with three bridges. Uh, it's a very simple thing. Uh, those pilers are only one millimeter in height and the bridges are 100 millimeters in length. Now, when we print this and we select that we want all the processes to be printed, um, then uh, we can set this and see what happens. Because here you can see the printing speed. And uh, when I select this slider, you can see what happens. Well, the first pilar after it's being printed, then uh, the bridge will be printed. And you can see here it's light blue. So this won't be printed at 40 millimeters a second, but it will be printed at 20 millimeters a second. So I'm printing slow. Now, when the second one will be built, then you will see that it's printed in green. And green, that stands for 40 millimeters a second. So this part will be printed in 40 millimeters a second, just because I selected it that way. And then I print the exact same thing, but here you can see it turn orange. So this bridge will be printed in 80 millimeters a second. I double the speed of the original print. Now you can say, well, the pilers are only dark blue. So they are printed in, uh, well, only eight millimeters a second. The reason for it is that those pilers are very small parts and the printer won't have any time to get to full speed. So this is the reason why these pilers are all blue. But as you can see, those prints will be printed in different speeds. Now let's take a look what happens. So here you can see me select the file on the Creality CR10 mini printer. Uh, this printer, uh, well, it's great for this type of usage. So I'll let you see how this goes. And this is sped up what you're seeing now. But when the bridging starts, this is now at this moment, uh, this is the normal speed. So this bridge is being printed at half speed of the normal print, which is in this case 20 millimeters a second. So uh, it's going pretty slow and it's slower than normal. Uh, yeah, the, the, the reason is that I choose a normal print speed for this print of uh, 40 millimeters a second. So when this ends, and this is at this moment, the print is sped up again. So you can see the whole process of me printing these parts. Uh, so this is the time lapse. And then uh, when we come to bridging again at this moment, you will see it at normal speed. So this is 40 millimeters a second. So this bridge, what you are seeing now, is being made at 40 millimeters a second. And uh, after this, we again speed it up. Uh, so you can see the rest of the process. And after that, then again, you will see the normal speed of the bridging, which is now two times as fast. So as you can see, I'm printing now at 80 millimeters a second. And this is pretty, pretty fast. Now, you can imagine that there is a print quality, but let me first show you how this looks like when, uh, when all the speeds are 
yeah, combined together. So at the top you see it printing at uh, 20 millimeters, in the middle at 40, and at the bottom at 80 millimeters a second. So this is the difference, the actual difference in time uh, with this setting. And I think this is a great setting to show you guys what is going on uh, with my uh, print. So yeah, and it's almost done. So this is what happens when you try to change the speed uh, settings of your bridging. So it's only a multiplier on the normal print speed as you can see. And uh, then you can see that at normal printing speed this is the print that came out and I hope the camera sees it but it's not completely perfect. It, it's got some lines who are not uh, completely adhered to each other. Now the second one is a little bit better uh, but still there is a, a little gap in between the lines and I, I know this normally when, you, when you're printing a bridge uh, there will be some infill on top of it which is not happening now and this is on purpose uh, but this is to show you how the print quality is and then here I've got the print that was printed at 200% so this was printed at 80 millimeters a second and this one is extremely good. So um, when printing bridges at double speed uh, with this material with this printer, uh, in my case this is a very good bridge. And uh, for me this means that when I'm printing with this printer and with a PLA material uh, that I should go for a twice the speed bridge so I must, uh, I must uh, speed up my, my bridging uh, with 200% in my slicer. Now this was it. If you like this video then uh, please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Also, please, if you know other people that are struggling with their bridges, then uh, share this video with them. So they can also see uh, what grade I got to offer for this video, but also with all my other videos. And with this said, well, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.